Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Good morning, and it's First Friday with First Steps. So glad you're here to join us. This morning, parents, we're going to be talking about recall and detail. Recall and detail. These are two specific strategies in which you really need to uh, use when you're reading to your child. And that will help those brain stem stimulate and uh, just that brain to get developed more and more and more. And that's what we want. We've got two cute stories today, so boys and girls, you'll have to listen because I'm going to be asking questions on the end. All right, Lauren? All righty. The first story is a silly story only because I don't know what it is. The title is called The Gruffalo's Child. Look at that picture. It's I see winter time and it is now winter, boys and girls. So it's cold outside. I don't know if we're gonna get to see snow like at the Gruffalo's forest, but we'll see. So a Gruffalo, I don't know what a Gruffalo is. I know what a Buffalo is, but I don't know what a Gruffalo. So this is a Gruffalo. It's some type of creature. And the title is the Gruffalo's Child. And so that's the child. The author is Julia Donaldson, and the pictures were drawn by Axel Scheffler. So let's find out about the Gruffalo's child. The publisher is Puffin Books. Puffin Books. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the big, deep, dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big, bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. Uh-oh, so Gruffalo was telling her child that you do not go into the deep, dark wood because there's a big, bad mouse. Now, somehow or another, I've never thought that big and bad would be the adjectives to describe a mouse. Would you? Are mice big? Mm. Are mice bad? No, naughty maybe. Hmm. What does it look like? Tell me, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? Uh-oh, so the child wants to know what the big bad mouse looks like. I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and he scratched his head. Well, the big bad mouse is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. Oh my goodness, look at the muscles on that mouse. He's strong and he has a scaly tail. All right. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. Oh, look at those fiery red eyes. And his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. Oh my goodness, his whiskers are so strong that a bird can stand on them. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Mmm, that is a big bad mouse. One snowy night while the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tipped toed out of the Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. I don't think I would be brave enough 
to leave home and go out into the deep dark wood in the snow as well but she's not afraid it says she's brave all right out slid the creature his eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers none at all all right so do you think this could be the gruffalo remember let's see i think i skipped a page let me go back let me go back aha a hole a trail in the snow who is this trail and where does it go a tail poked out of a log pal house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Do you guys think that's the tail of a big bad mouse? Is it a scaly tail? Remember the details that we said about the big bad mouse. He was strong. He had a scaly tail. He has fiery eyes and strong whiskers. Let's see. Hmm, that tail doesn't look scaly. Do you think it could possibly be the big fat mouse? You were right, Lauren. It's a snake. Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake oh my goodness i wonder what gruffalo cake is hmm, is it cake made out of gruffalo if that's the case he better go home the snow fell fast and the wind blew wild i'm not scared said the gruffalo's child oh boy aha a hole marks in the snow Whose are these cloth marks? Where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of the treetops. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Now, Milan, do you remember what kind of eyes the big bad mouse is supposed to have? That's right, red fiery eyes. Do those eyes look red and fiery? They look kind of orangish though, don't they? Do you think that's a mouse's eyes? No. Harmony, what kind of eyes are those? Who do you think that is? Yeah, I think it's an owl too. Let's see if you're right. You're right. Down flew the creature. His tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. So he doesn't have a scaly tail and he doesn't have whiskers. So we know it can't be the big bad mouse. You're not the mouse. To who? Not I. But he's somewhere nearby eating gruffalo pie. Uh-oh. Well, first we thought he was eating gruffalo cake. Now he's eating gruffalo pie. Mm -hmm. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. She's going deeper and deeper into the woods. Uh -oh. Aha, a hole, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? Oh, I see some whiskers. Hmm. That doesn't quite look like a mouse's nose. Got any idea of what creature that might be? Hmm. Let's see. If you said a fox, you're right. I see a fox. Out slunk the creature. His eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scaly. His whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh, no, not me. He's under a tree drinking gruffalo tea. Uh-oh, so he's... Uh-oh, that gruffalo child better watch out because I don't know what uh, this mouse is using to get his gruffalo cake and pie and tea. It's all a trick, 
said the buffalo's child as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in a big bad mouse. Oh, so she doesn't believe there's no big bad mouse. But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at last. You'll taste good as a midnight feast. Uh-oh. So Gruffalo wants to eat the little mouse. Uh-oh. He says he's a mouse at least, so he's going to taste good as a midnight feast. Uh-oh, that little mouse better run. Wait, said the mouse. Before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you let me hop onto a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend so bad and big. Uh-oh, do you think his friend is the big bad mouse? Because he's about to get eaten right now. Oh, no. The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist. The big bad mouse, so he does exist? The mouse hopped onto the hazel tree. He beckoned and said, just wait and see. Uh-oh, so here's the hazel tree, and he's hopping on. Uh oh let's see if the big bad mouse is going to come. Oh, I'm getting scared. Oh, no, the big bad mouse might come. Out came the moon. Uh-oh, did you guys see what I see? It was bright and round. And a terrible shadow fell upon the ground. Oh, you guys see what's happening? It's a big full moon. And the light reflecting from the moon is reflecting off of the mouse, which is reflecting on the ground as a shadow. And it's bigger. Uh-oh. But I don't think Ruffalo Child realizes it's a shadow. Who is this creature so big and so strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and over his shoulder. He carries a nut as big as a boulder. Oh my goodness. Gruffalo Child is scared. The big bad mouse! Yelled the Gruffalo's Child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and he smiled. Aha, aho, prints in the snow. Whose are these footprints and where do they go? So what happened? You see Gruffalo's child, he, she's running back down. I thought she was so brave. And now the little mouse who's tricked the Gruffalo's child, he sees some prints in the st snow. Do you know whose prints those are? Can you guess? Look at the details. Do you think they may be the, the Gruffalo's child running away? I think so too. The footprints led to the Gruffalo's cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a lit a bit less bored. Oh yeah, so now look at her. Going home to daddy. Mm-hmm. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. <laughs> so, did you like that story? Was it a real Gruffalo? No, it wasn't a real Gruffalo. Without Peaky Peaky, can you remember the four things that describe the Big Bad Mouse? Give you a hint. Good. He was strong. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what else? He had a tail. What kind of tail? Scaly tail. Good. Fiery eyes. Strong whiskers. You guys did great. Very good. He was strong. Scaly tail had fiery eyes, and he had strong whiskers. Great job, great job. 
So parents, as you see, we use that book to recall detail from the book and children need to know those things when they're reading and they can conclude and make deductions from the stories that they read. And these are necessary skills when they start school. Now, just like recall and detail are necessary skills for school, the next book is about something that is necessary that we all need, but so often is forgotten about. I went to the store trying to find this special kind of truck. Oh, I saw fire trucks, I saw dump trucks, I saw spreaders, I saw bulldozers, I saw tractors, I saw all kinds of vehicles and all kinds of trucks, pol fire trucks, police trucks, police cars, but I could not find this truck. And this truck should not be left out because it's very important, just like you boys and girls. Each one of you are very important. And if something ever happens to you, we would be so sad. We love you so much. So, but this truck never gets any love. Let's see if we can love on this truck today. Let's see if you can guess what this truck is. The name of this story is I Stink. Oh my goodness. It's a stinky truck? What on earth is a stinky truck? Maybe I shouldn't read this story if it's got stinky in it. Let's see. Well, this story is written and illustrated by Kate and Jim McMullen. Oh, wow. Let's find out about this. And the publishers are Harper Collins Publisher. Hmm. I stink. I bet you guys can see what kind of truck it is. That truck came to my house today, and I'm so glad it did. Now, also in this story, we're going to talk about a, a big word, and if you're in first or second or third grade, this is a word that your teachers teach you. It's called an onomatopoeia. Can you say that? Onomatopoeia. So an onomatopoeia are different sounds, the sounds, of sound effects that you would hear and you would, would do when you were writing stories because people can't hear the story in writing. When they're writing it, you can't hear it. So they put the words there and you have to make the sound yourself. Onomatopoeia, watch out for it, okay? All right. Now, this truck is the narrator of this story. He's the one that's telling this story. You got it, Milana? Milan? Onomatopoeia, that's what we're looking for. Who am I? I've got lights, 10 wide tires, no AC. AC stands for air conditioning. Not me. I've got doubles, steering wheels, gas pedals, brakes. I am totally dual up. Know what I do at night while you're asleep? Hmm. Fancy truck with all those fancy things. I eat your trash. That's what. See those bags? I smell breakfast. Ooh. Crew, get me to the curb. Lights? Blink, blink. That's what I want to be. Brakes? Squeak. I don't want to be. Tailgate? Uh, say ah he's opening up his mouth he says that's breakfast oh he's eating all of the trash oh wow feed me right into my hopper nice toss guys stop oh my goodness all the trash is going into the back he's eating hopper's full hit the throttle Give me some gas. Rev me up to the max. Engine. Vroom, 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 vroom. Roar. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. He looks like a mad face, an angry face. But he just ate. Did I wake you? Well, too bad. Pistons. 
Bring on the crusher, Blade. Blade, push back the bags. Squeeze them. Crush them. Mash them. Smash them. Whoa, those bags are way compact. All right, see how it's being pushed back? And that makes them smaller and smaller. That's what compacted means. He's smiling now. He's got more space. Burr! <laughs> Is that what you do when, you, when you're eating and you're full? Do you give a big burp? That's an onomatopoeia. Burr! That's the sound he made. Ah! Now I have room for alphabet soup. Get a load of my recipe. Now, I want you to remember what's all in the alphabet soup because I'm going to ask you at the end of the story. All right, let's see what he's going to put in his alphabet soup to eat. Apple cores. B, A for apple cores. B, banana peels. C, candy wrappers. Oh, no. D, dirty diapers. Oh, he's eating dirty diapers. E, eggshells. F, fish heads. G, gobs and gobs of gum. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, would you like that for breakfast, not me? Oh. H, half-eaten hot dogs. I, icky ice cream cartons. J, Jam jars, K, kitty litter, Ooh. L, lobster claws, M, moldy meatballs, N, nasty neckties, O, orange peels, oh no, P, I can't even say it. Puppy poo. <laughs> Q. Quail bones, too. Oh, I can't take it. I, but somebody's got to do it. R. Rotten radishes. S. Smelly sneakers. T. Toothpaste tubes. U. Ugly underwear. V, vacuum bags, W, watermelon rinds, X, extra large t-shirts, Y, year old yams, oh my goodness, they're so old, they're sprouting, Z, zipped up zitty with zucchini, and he's saying, thank you very much, he loved his alphabet soup, oh my goodness, oh, oh. That's what I, not what I call alphabet soup. What's that? You think I stink? Hoo-wee, do I ever. No skunk ever stunk this bad. Go on, hold your nose. But think about it. Without me, you're on Mount Trasherama, baby. That's right, boys and girls, we need this type of truck. If not, all of our trash would be high, 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 everywhere in the streets, in the yards, and boy, that would stink. So we need this truck. Never stop, next stop, the river. Lights, flash, driver, Reverse. Mm, reverse means put it backwards. Let's go backwards. Get me to the barge. Now, a barge is like a flat boat. Okay? You see this barge right here that uh, you'll see. And we don't take our trash. The truck that picks up our trash does not take it to a barge on the river here in South Carolina. But we do have a landfill that they go and they can take the trash. All right, hear me blast my backup rap. All right, beep, 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 hey, beep, beep, out of my way, beep, beep, hey, beep, beep, out of my way. Those beep, beeps are 
lot of mine appears. Kennedy, does your daddy's big truck make a beep beep rap? Your daddy drives a big truck, not like this. You got daddy has another fancy truck. Ready, crew? Action. Pins out. Power brake switch. Hit it. Tailgate. Separate. All right, separate. Up, up, up. Tailgate sweeper. Eject. Plop. There it is. It popped right on the barge. Onomatopoeia is a plop, plop. That's the sound it makes when it drops. I'm empty. I'm beat. You're waking up now, but I need some Z's. Back to the garage crew. Hose me down and gas me up. See you tomorrow night, guys. There he is. He's left the barge. And he's driving back to his place. Who am I? The garbage truck. That's who. I like this story about the garbage truck. He is so special. Even though a lot of people don't think he's special. But if he did not come and pick up your trash we would be living on trash, Mount Trasharama for sure. And we would have a stinky, stinky land. And we don't want to live in a stinky land, do we? No. So let's see about some recall. Let's see if you guys remember the alphabet soup. All right. Start with the easy one. Do you remember what the A was for? A was for A. Right, apple cores, that's right. Uh, let's see, do you remember what G was for? G -g 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 -g. Gooey gum, right, right, right. Let's see. Hmm, oh. P, 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 P. You got it, puppy poo. Kayla, you remembered, oh, 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 oh. Let's see, do you remember D? What was it? Harmony, what is it? D, 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 d. Dirty diapers, yeah, you guys got it. Oh my goodness. You guys did do well with the alphabet soup. I know I'm not gonna make alphabet, alphabet soup out of these kinds of things, mm-mm, never. But it's good for a dump truck, uh, uh, that a garbage truck, when he gets everything from the dump, and he'll take it to the dump. I like this story. Boys and girls, we're all needed. We all need to be loved. And guess what? I love you just the way you are. So I want you to be safe. Have a great day. And until the next time we see you. Bye, bye, family. Bye, bye, friends. Bye, bye, everyone. Until we meet again. Until the next time, I wish you well.